Hi guys, how you doing? So today I've got a tip for you and it's about your turning, okay? And I want to explain a few little things about it. Now, in the golf swing, in the golf swing, what I want you to do is work on storing power and getting a good body rotation into the backswing. So what I want you to think of is this, you've got two turning centers in the golf swing. You've got your shoulders, okay guys, you've got your shoulders, which turn in the backswing, shoulders, and you've also got your hips that turn in the golf swing. That helps you to get the club around the body and back through. So, what I want you to try and imagine is this, it's about the sequencing of those turns in your golf swing. So when you start the back swing, I want you to think of this as the turning of the shoulders. Think of them like a, a, a hula hoop like this, turning around your spine angle. So when you go into the back swing, the shoulders turn like this on this plane. At right angles to your spine angle. Whatever you set your spine angle, that's the way your shoulders should be turning in the swing. Now, the back swing initiates and starts with the shoulders. So the shoulder rotation gets the arm swinging and the club swinging around the body. So the shoulders, the top circle, turning center, the shoulders turn first. In the down swing, as you can see, when I get to that position, the shoulders have turned as fully as I can. In the down swing, it's the hips that start the down swing. Now obviously, the shoulders and the hips are joined. So think of it like this. Upper center starts to swing. The shoulders, I'm gonna get my club, guys, so you can see this better. From here, the shoulders will start the back swing gets everything moving. The, the hips stay stable. This turning center doesn't move consciously in the back swing. I want you to focus on the shoulders starting the swing. So the shoulders, the arms, the clubs start the back swing. Turn, 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 turn. And turn as far as you can. And then in the down swing, the hips start the down swing. I get asked a lot, guys, from the top of the back swing, what is the first thing that moves? Well, for me, the downswing starts from the legs, from the hips, get your body weight across. So use your lower center to start the downswing and the upper, cent the upper turning center will follow. So let me repeat that, okay? So we've got two turning centers. We've got the shoulder turning and we've got the hips turning. That's how you rotate and get the arms swinging around the body. Now the order is key. Back swing. Lower center stable, upper, upper center, turn, 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 turn. Turn as far as you can. Get those hands and arms behind the body and turn, turn. In the down swing, we have to separate. Now we have to feel the hips turning. Now the hips, are gonna pull the shoulders because everything, as I said before, is connected. But the hips will win the race to the ball in the downswing. So as you go up in the backswing, shoulders, boom, downswing, hips. So when you make contact with the ball, your hips will be much further turned through the golf ball than your shoulders. That's where the power is, guys in the speed and the flexibility of the hips and your lower body center turning into the ball, turning into the ball. So what I want you to do, I want you to work on your flexibility, okay? Through lockdown, through the winter, in your off season when you're working on your game, work also on your body. What I want you to do, and this is an exercise that Pete Cowan taught me, and he does this with Henrik Stenson and it's getting that stretch. If you can't do this, you'll need to do this two, three minutes a day, that's it. And this is where you do it. You get into golf posture. Get into golf posture. Push your arms to the ground, palms down. Now, when you're in position, ready to, ready to swing, what I want you to do is feel yourself 
turning, but pushing your hands and your arms away from you as you're doing this motion. So I'll turn to different positions so you can see what I'm doing. So this is about flexibility to get your turn better. Here we go. Push down your palms, push them down to the ground, stay in posture and turn slowly, but push the hands away. Push, 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 push those hands away when you get to the top of your backswing. Push them away, hold that stretch and then slow motion back down, pushing to the ground, pushing to the ground. Feel your hips turning, your shoulders turning, but push your hands to the ground. Push, 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 and again through. So you turn through the ball, hips turning, shoulders following, and push, 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 push. And that's gonna get you stretchy. Once again, into golf posture. Push your palms to the ground, really push away from you, away from your chest. And then from here, slow motion. Push the hands away, push the hands away. As you're turning your body, push the hands away. High, hold it, you'll feel it. You're gonna feel that stretch. You should feel it in your back, in your shoulders, in your arms. You're really getting that width. Guys, it's all about turning the goal swing. Your upper body must turn and your lower body must lead. Okay guys, so try that out. Work on your, your turning and the sequencing of your turning and I'm sure you're gonna get much better results. Okay, let me know how you get on guys. If you've got any more questions, anything you want me to work on, put it in the comments and I'll, I'll do another video for you. Darren Scholes, signing off.